This video is being brought to you by Freedom Garage. Hey y'all, this is Dan from Freedom Garage and just wanted to share something real quick here for any of y'all that have a Chevy truck. This is a 2001 Chevy Silverado, uh, 1500 four wheel drive. But for any of you that have the 5.3 motor, this might be applicable to the other motors, the 4 point whatever and the 6.2, etc. But what I had is uh, I had some leaks at the, uh, the oil cooler transmission lines. So right here on the passenger side, right here, this upper upper line, I had a leak. And uh, I went ahead and got a new line. I cleaned the parts and all that. Uh, that didn't stop it. I still had this leak. And turns out there is a O-ring inside that little fitting, and I'll show you that in a minute, that is super easy to replace, uh, but that is what stopped my leak. So let me show you that little part. So here is the fitting. This goes inside the radiator, screws in. So here's what it looks like inside the vehicle. I pulled the, this whole pipe out just so you all can see it better, but the radiator is my hand, and this part right here is screwed in. And then you have this plastic snap cover. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that out and move that out of the way. There is then a, almost like a snap ring. Now it might have mine sticking out just so I could do this video really quick, but you're gonna to wanna to get like a pick or something like that. Uh, I've got this nice little pick set from Harbor Freight. It's probably about four or five bucks or whatever. You all should have one in your shop. But you go ahead and move out. Again, I have this one sticking out a little bit just for the sake of the video. That didn't work. And you're going to go ahead and pull that ring out. And then you can go ahead and remove your line and all that. Then what you will take is, again, this is connected and screwed into the radiator. You're going to take an 18 millimeter wrench. And you're just going to go ahead and take that, that off and screw that off, right? So this is the fitting that we're talking about. And inside, oh, I'm going to get real close. You can see... There is a an O-ring right down there, you can see. I've already replaced this one. But again, take your pick and go ahead and pull that O-ring out. Again, while you're at Harbor Freight getting that pick set, go ahead and get one of these nice little O-ring sets. The one that you're gonna use is this one right here. So it is the, what does that say? 8.8 .8 .8 by 1.9 millimeter. There's 15 of them, so. This is what it looks like. It's one of these guys right here. That fits perfectly inside. So again, you're gonna take the fitting, dig out your O-ring, get your new one, your 8.8 um, .8 by 1.9 millimeter, and go ahead and seat that back in. It takes a little bit to get it, coax it back in there. Just be patient and get it, you know, keep turning it and pushing it and pushing it and all that, but it will seat very nicely in there. And then you can go ahead, take your 18 millimeter, put this back into your radiator, stick it in here. And then you're gonna take your line, you're gonna pop your line in, push your line all the way in. You're gonna take that retaining clip and you're gonna go ahead and re-secure it right in there. And then you can go ahead and pop this plastic connector or cover right up like that. And that's what you'll end up looking like. That should take care, as long as there's no lines or holes in your line or anything like that, that should take care of your leaks. That, at least it did it for mine. I had a leak on the upper. I'm now doing the lower one. I'll go put this back in right now. Uh, I'm probably gonna do the ones that are on the oil cooler in the front of the, the radiator as well, just while I'm at it. So it's super cheap, super easy to do. Um, clean these off with brake, brake cleaner and all that too while you're at it. And that should uh, hopefully help y'all's uh, transmission cooling line leaks at least at the radiator and that uh, auxiliary uh, cooling unit. So here you can see this line right here, right there, the upper one, looking really good, no leaks. And then the one way down there, no leaks as well. This how-to video was brought to you by Freedom Garage. Freedom Garage is a charitable ministry that loves on God's people through cars. We specialize in oil changes and basic vehicle maintenance for single moms, widows, seminary students, retirees on fixed incomes, clergy, and missionaries. Our goal is to become a self-sustaining charity through social media by telling stories 
and creating how-to videos to help others. Please consider supporting us by subscribing to this YouTube channel and checking out the affiliate links in the video description. You can also follow our Instagram page at freedom underscore garage underscore KY.